Father. Father. your hand on your heart. Father, I'm yours. Jesus, you gave all yourself to me. By faith, I give all myself to you. Holy Spirit. Take full control of my life as I surrender to you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Pray for David Billings. He's home with blood high blood pressure. David's watching by live stream. David and Sharon. David, we say right now, high blood pressure, you will leave. I send the word that by the stripes of Jesus, healing goes into your body right now. <laughs> high blood pressure, you must leave. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Wow. I'm back. <laughs> We've got a baptism today. It's going to be awesome. Boy, what a beautiful word for Travis. Wow. We're going to bless the Lord with our tithes and offerings. What do you think? How many of you, the Lord spoke to you and it was right on? It was the Lord. You know it was the Lord. That's awesome. It's awesome, huh? You know, when that happens, I can just see it in the spirit. I can just see it. <laughs> I see, you see me walking around because I don't even know where I'm at. But I'm back. So... If you need an offering envelope, the ushers will get you one if you're given cash. There's a, there's a financial miracle coming to some of you. I mean, it's like you, you, it's, it's, you, need, you need this. And by the virtue of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that financial blessing is yours. It's coming. It's a miracle. I mean, it's something that only God can do for you. Just lift your tithe up, your offering, and say, Lord, I received that miracle. Thank you that you've heard me. It's coming. It's coming. Amen. Father, bless this. And in Jesus' name. If you want to pass that around, everybody's got one. Um, we're going to, is Robert going to sing a song? Okay. Two songs if it, if, it, if right. it flows in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if any of you don't know, my name is Robert Oak Benjamin. And... 
I, I'm very thankful for the name the Lord gave me, but the name doesn't isn't doesn't make me who I am. I, you know, whatever name you have, it's the Lord that works in your life, and you choose to follow the Lord. But the Lord gave me a good name, and I want to honor Him. I thank Him for that. Um, and I, today, I, I want to pray again here, and a lot has been prayed already, but we pray again, Lord. I just pray uh, that even today and, and beyond that. Uh, you begin a greater le- releasing of anointing for uh, emotional and mental healing, Lord. I pray that everyone in here that's feeling lonely in any way, in any way whether they're uh, a, a widow, a widower, if, they're, uh, if, if you uh, have uh, trouble in your family, relationships, um, if you lost someone, um, or, or, or even if you're single and maybe you're struggling uh, because the enemy's there uh, trying to make you feel like maybe you're not adequate, um, it, being married or single is not what makes us what God wants us to be. Uh, marriage is a real blessing, uh, but who we are, uh, it starts out, you know, the Lord wants to plant something in your individual heart. So um, whether you're single or married, uh, you have, you're just as important and the Lord loves you just as much. Um, and I'll begin to share. Uh, thank you, Jesus. God has heard the scream of the eagle. God has
ask you to bless these words, Lord. Um, they are specific and they're to each one in a, in a special way. These are prophetic songs. Uh, so I just pray that you'd, uh, you'd cause your work to flow. I really bless uh, Pastor Rich's message that he has today. Lord, um, if you want to say anything extra, help him not to uh, cut it too short, but just let your spirit do whatever you want to do. Um, and let everyone uh, be, be blessed, but not just blessed, but be blessed with how to apply it and, and take, take what you want to show us into our being uh, so it accomplishes the purpose that you have f for the message and for everything else you're doing uh, today and in the days to come. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. And so I'm going to take about five minutes, not much more than that, about water baptism. And I'm going to make it real easy, but it's going to be very profound. First of all, Jesus said that, you know, the Great Commission is to what? go into all the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then in Acts 2.38, uh, it says all the Jews were, you know, pricked to their heart. And they said, well, how do we get saved? And Peter said, repent and be baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, baptism, number one, doesn't save you. Once you're saved, you should be baptized. Because baptized baptism is a picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do identify. And, and by the way, baptism means to submerge. Literally means to be totally submerged like a submarine. So, that's why we, when we baptize in water, we don't sprinkle. We submerge. Also, uh, infant baptism is unscriptural. Uh, Jesus was dedicated to the Lord, so I believe in very much an in infant dedication. We, de we dedicate them to the Lord. But when someone comes to the age of knowing good from evil and comes to the age of truly knowing that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior, then they should be baptized. And uh, baptism is a miracle it's so powerful. And I believe that uh, Romans 12, 1 says, By the mercies of God, present your body a living sacrifice, which is holy and acceptable to the Lord, which is your reasonable service. Now, when we get saved, our spirit is instantly born again. But we also know we have to get our mind renewed. We have to get our soul. We talked about the soul Receiving the word of God, the word of God saves our soul. But what about our body? We're a three-part being. Well, water baptism is presenting your body to the Lord. It's not just getting wet. It's, it's, it's literally an identification with Christ. But something powerful happens in water baptism. Dave Duell, which the Hoovers know very well. They were in his church as a pastor. He, he called me one day and he said, Rich, he said, I just want to share something with you. We just led this witch to the Lord. And we took her out. She lived with her boyfriend who was a warlock. And so he said, you know, we, I called the warlock. We had this girlfriend with us. She got saved. And he said the first words out of his mouth was, have you baptized her yet? First words out of his mouth. And Dave lied to him. He said, sure we have. So he immediately called the church and says, 
baptize her now. And uh, so we got talking about that. What, what, why would he ask that question? Well, I don't want you to study witchcraft, but if you ever have, there's something about the body that they can possess. But water baptism breaks it. Water baptism is a miracle because it's, it's an open display of your testimony that Jesus Christ is your Lord. And so since then, we were at Melody Land, Dorothy and I, and every, every week we have baptized anywhere between 100 and 150 up to 200 people a week. We baptize on Sundays and again on Thursday. I've seen more miracles in that baptism uh, than probably I've ever seen anywhere else. Literally, people would come to be baptized, and if they had a demon, they would be set free before we could baptize them. I remember this one man come in there, and he screamed like a panther. Literally, I mean, every hair in your, you just, woo, your hair standing up. If you ever heard a panther scream, this is what this, this demon in him screamed, and then it left him, and then we baptized him. There was one time, Dorothy, and we baptized like even today. There'd be ladies that are up there with a towel to give to you. And so Dorothy, whenever I baptized, she would be the lady up there handing people. They'd take their towel and then hand their towel back. Well, this, it looked like a man came down to be baptized. And Bill Bowlby was on that side. I looked at him and said, Brother, what, what do you need for prayer? And Dorothy's up there, That's a woman, that's a woman. Well, she had become a he for many years. And she wouldn't even dress with the ladies, so she wanted to come dress with the men, and Dorothy said no. She put him in a classroom because we'd put robes on him. I looked at her, Bill, and I looked at her, and I said, this is my words. I said, Satan, I command you to loose her. that She becomes who Jesus made her to be, a man, a woman. And her face turned as white as your T-shirt. And it looked like somebody grabbed it on both sides. And her face distorted like a plastic mask. Literally. And then zip, it was perfect. We baptized her. And she went in and dressed with the women. Totally set free. There's miracles today. Expect a miracle to happen with these who's being baptized. Little Travis, that was a word of the Lord for this young man. I believe that he's, he's just going to be, you're going to see a marked difference in everybody. This one lady one time had cerebral palsy, and she came up. She came up, and all of a sudden she went like this. And then she put both hands above her head. She got dressed, and she ran out in the parking lot, running from car to car, telling people what Jesus did, did for her. The power of God was so strong that when people would line up, we'd walk by them, and they'd all fall in the power of the Spirit. We'd have to wait for somebody to get up before we could baptize them. We would wrap our hand around the back of their garment because many of them would be slain in the Spirit. In the baptism time, we'd have to hold them up till we could baptize them. Miracles happen. You're going to see miracles happen today if these three is being baptized. We're going to expect it. Amen. And and once they're baptized, we just we just uh, um, let them wait there for a minute. Let the Holy Spirit minister to them. If someone up there has a word for them. And here's the other thing. This is the honest truth. Everybody at Melody Land that we baptized, if they were not baptized in the Spirit, they'd come up out of the water speaking in tongues. Without exception. And I'm not lying about that. They would be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And funny things happen in baptism. You've heard getting your socks blessed off. <laughs> this lady came in, an older lady, to get baptized. And after she got baptized, she came out and I looked down. There was a bra floating in the water. <laughs> she 
she got blessed out of, you know. <laughs> so her, her daughter was standing there, so I, I kind of took it and hid it and handed it to her. And I said, here, your mom might need that. One lady had a wig on. She came up, the wig's floating behind her, right? I just looked at her. She didn't know it. I just took the wig and plopped it on her head. She just went out rejoicing, you know, didn't even know. God has such a sense of humor. But, you know, I just want you to get in faith and believe these Precious people is going to be baptized. Is we're going to see God do something powerful, powerful in their life. And, you know, sometimes uh, water baptism can just be a formula. You know, it's just like communion. It's like, well, we're going to go. We're going to dunk them. They're going to get wet and praise God. Listen, my grandfather baptized me in a creek in Kansas. Grandma was there. Dorothy was there. My stepmom, my dad, we were all watching. And Grandpa baptized me, and then I baptized him. It was awesome. I got a letter from my grandpa. I still got it. I kept it. He wrote me a letter that week, and he said, he said, grandson, he said, what's happening to me? He said, I find myself driving down the road going 20 miles an hour, just, just full of peace. He said, I don't understand this. And I just said, well, Grandpa, that's just the Holy Spirit. Jesus is with you. And uh, something real, something real takes place in these people's lives. And uh, I know Paul's coming up. Paul, you're being baptized. And Tina, come on back. I think they're ready for you back there. And little Travis is being baptized. Grandpa and Grandma's here. (laughs) Emma's Grandpa and Grandma. And our newest little baby, Amelia. Um, it's so good to have family. Some people have said, well, you shouldn't baptize a kid. Well, let me tell you something. When a kid's old enough to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, they're old enough to be baptized. Amen. Amen. So, praise God, because they know that they're saved. And uh, thank you, Jesus. We uh, had to clean this uh, (laughs) uh, baptism back there. It's all cleaned up. We circulate it through a hot water heater so the water's warm. I baptized this lady one time. No, it's Uncle Ehrman, Dorothy's uncle. And aunt got saved. So we just filled the baptism up about a foot, two feet deep. Baptized them in ice cold water. I remember Uncle Ehrman jumping up and going, Woo! (laughs) It wasn't the Holy Spirit. It was cold water. (laughs) But we had this one lady in our church in Scott City. Her and her husband had been married five years, and they were wanting a child. And uh, I asked Christ if I said, have you been baptized? She said, no. I said, we're going to baptize you. So we baptized her, and uh, nine months later, they had a baby. There's something in her body that broke loose in water baptism. I've just seen more and more miracles and things happen. People transformed. And so we're going to believe. We're going to believe this. And, and um, I don't know of other stories. When we were in Kansas, we baptized. That church was a baby church. We baptized 91 people. So I had a whole church full of little babies. It wore me out. <laughs> they really did. Are you guys ready up there? Yeah? Did I hear a yeah? Wow, look at them peak shorts. <laughs> so we're going to turn it over to you guys.
Amen. I want to thank Mike and David. Man, those guys are up here and getting that water going and working on it. And Dave Flew had, Hoff had to come and help us get the pump and everything working right. But uh, isn't that awesome? I'm looking forward to the day when we do this 100, 100 at a time or more. I tell you, by the time you see 100 people baptized, the Spirit of God is so thick, it's awesome. Amen? Amen. Well, um, you guys are blessed, so go out and be a blessing with what you're blessed with. Amen? Amen. Bless you. Grease somebody as you go. Love you.